I'm Pat Smiley, and now that you've joined the SGGS community, this would be a good time to review your account settings and update your profile. We're on Sister Rita's homepage, and she's very kindly allowed us to use her account as an example. So in the upper right of your screen next to your profile picture is the account settings. Settings, help, report a problem, invite teachers, log out. Let's click settings. Now you'll see that Sister uses her own picture for her profile picture. If you'd like to do that, you go to your computer, you pick the picture you would like to use, and I'm going to say cancel because Sister already has hers, but you open that and it would be uploaded. Perhaps you'd like to use one of the Edmodo icons instead. Feel free to browse and choose one of those. It's your choice, whatever you'd like to do. For her email, Sister has listed that. This check mark means it's been confirmed, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Sister puts her personal information, where she is, the time zone. For us, here's titles that you might need. Um, this is where Sister used the beginning of her email address as her personal URL. This means that if anybody copied and pasted this URL, they would be able to visit her profile page directly. If you don't want to do that, just leave this box blank. Really, the choice is up to you. For school, she has posted her school. Perhaps you don't want people to know where you are. You're a very personal person. That's okay, too. But if you enter your zip code where they ask you to search, you'll see that there's two names that come up for St. Gregory. And since we're very proud of our Catholic identity, that is the one that we have used. Okay, once we're done, we save our personal info. It's been updated. And let's look at email and text updates. Sister prefers to get hers through her email address. You might like text messages. You may want no notifications at all. You prefer to check the site on your own periodically. That's up to you. But I do suggest that you might want to know about connection requests, replies, any notes, and direct messages. Save your notifications, whatever they may be. And this is where you change your password. Privacy settings. If you do not want people to ask to be connected to you, check this box. If you only want your connections to see your profile, check this box. Sister is open to making new connections and she is very happy for people to see her profile. We save those privacy settings and we are done with this particular part of our exercise. If you look at her profile, now, this edit button takes you right back where we were for the personal account information. But we are interested in doing a little bit more. Now you'll notice that Sister has 80% of her profile completed. Um, this will come from the information on the page we were just at. Sister has a sharing score of 13 because she's really new to Edmodo. Here you can find new connections. They'll come up. You could click on them and add connection if you're interested. If you want to invite teachers by email this is where you would do it. Now teacher badges are awarded automatically. Now I talked about this as a verified teacher account. If you click on this and you haven't verified your teacher account, it will take you through the steps just to confirm your email address. If you click on these badges, it tells you what they're all about. Sister has at least 20 teachers she's connected to on Edmodo and she has joined a publisher community and also a subject area community. But we'll talk more about that uh, at a later time. Again, they're awarded automatically. So as you go through the profile and activity on Edmodo, they will give you this. Now, Sister has put a little bit about herself in here. She's just started it. I'm an information resource teacher at SGGS. We're gonna save that for her. And she can come back and add more if she wants to. Sister currently has 33 connections. They're all listed here in case you want to visit their profile page and interact with them in some way. And uh, Sister does not have a class on Edmodo. At some point, you might. And in her community, she belongs to the help community, and this is computer technology. If you click communities, it will show you which ones you are. But from your home page, you can browse communities. We will go into that at a later point. These are publishers that you may like. Uh, they, if you click here, it will give you a list of maybe publishers that you would like to follow. Once you've finished with your profile page and you're happy with what it looks like, go to the upper left and click the home icon to go back to your home page. Thanks so much and I'll talk to you soon.